Edinkra are symbols that represent concepts and was then used extensively for fabrics. Mr. Prince of Edaku, an affiliate of the J.H. Kobnanketia Africana Center, who is also the head of social sciences at the African University College of Communications, explains further. Edinkra symbols are actually non-verbal forms of communication in African societies, particularly among the Akans and then the Asante. Edinkra symbols um, gained their name and their popularity from the Akan cloth, right, which is called the Edinkra cloth. Now, the Dinkra cloth is normally used for funerals to bid farewell to people. So the word Edinkra itself comes from the Akan word Edinkra or Yedinkra, which means goodbye or farewell. So in the past, most of the Asantes and by extension the Akans used to wear this cloth to say goodbye to people that had lost, and then also to sympathize with families who had lost um, their dear ones. Originally produced by the German clans of Nahafo, now a Hafo region centuries ago, Edinkra was the exclusive right of royalty and spiritual leaders and only used for important ceremonies such as funerals. One powerful Akan state, that was called the German state, which was located to the northwest of the former Asante state and also in parts of Côte d'Ivoire, uh, was the origin of the Edinkra symbol. We are told that one of their kings by name German Hene Kujo Edingra, which we believe was corrupted to Edingra, made a replica of the Asante Golden Stool. And you know that the sacred stool represents the history, the unity, the power and authority of the Asante nation and also the Asante Hene. And so by making a replica of the stool, he was claiming that at the point, he was also more powerful than the Asante state, and he was also indirectly disrespecting the Asante Hene. And so what the Asante Hene did, and at that time, the Asante Hene was called Osei Bonsu Pini. What he did was that he sent an emissary to the German state and told the Dinkra to surrender the replica of the golden stool to him. At the first instance, the Dinkra did that. He surrendered the stool to the Asante emissaries. However, as soon as they got to the Asante state, he made a second golden stool. And that angered the Asante Hine. He sent another emissary to him to surrender the second golden stool to him. What he did was that he decided not to surrender the stool and refused to pay the thousand ounces of gold. That was the punishment for what he did. And so the Asante declared war on the Germans. The Asantes were able to defeat the Germans. And we are made to believe that some of these prisoners were people who were skilled in the art of making these crafts. Specifically, they were skilled in the art of making impressions in cloth. So we are made to believe that these craftsmen also introduced this art to the Asante craftsmen. For which the Asantes adopted it and developed it over time and named it Edinkra after the former German king, King Kujo Edinkra or Edinkra. Here are some examples of Edinkra symbols and their meanings. One of the popular ones is what we call the Abedia. Abedia is actually the palm tree. And what the, the, the Abedia represents is that, look, as human beings, we are not self-sufficient. The Abedia is self-sufficient because all other trees will die, but it will survive. But human beings are not self-sufficient like the Abedia. We also can talk about the Jinyame symbol, which is so popular among the Edinkra symbols. Now, if you look at the Jinyame symbol, Jinyame simply means except God or only God, right? So as a religious symbol, it tells us that as human beings or as Africans, we can depend on God in times of difficulties or in times of misfortune because God does not die. God is eternal. We also have this popular Edinkra symbol called Uwachide, which is literally um, the ladder of death. Now, this symbol indicates to us that death is inevitable, that all human beings will die, irrespective of your socioeconomic background. These symbols are indigenous, unique, beautiful, and rich with meaning.